our third speaker uh, and defense minister today is obviously representing Finland. Welcome. Uh, you see, Ninistö is Minister of Defense since 2015. Since 2011, he has been a member of the Finnish parliament, where he was serving as chairman for the Defense Committee. Ninistö has been a member of the Finns party parliamentary group, some Finna, since 2011, and vice chairman of the party since 2013. He's a military historian and politician, and before entering into politics, Ninister made a distinguished career within the field of Finnish history as well as military history. He's also a reserve officer with the rank of senior lieutenant. Please, the podium is yours. Madam Chairman, colleagues and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure. I would like to use this opportunity to offer remarks from a Finnish point of view to the security dynamics in Northern Europe. My key message here today forward, we need to invest more in defense, both nationally and collectively. Let me start with comments on the security agreement which Finland shares with the other countries of Northern Europe. The security of Europe and the Baltic Sea region has un fortunately deteriorated. As we all know, Russia has annexed the Crimean Peninsula and created the crisis in eastern Ukraine. In the Baltic region, we have seen increased amount of Russian military activity in the form of military exercises and activity in the air. In recent years, Russia has also increased its military footprint and activity in the Arctic and has become involved in the war in the Syria. Russia also uses a wide range of military and non-military instruments in advancing its interests. Furthermore, the instability in North Africa and the Middle East with major consequences on migrant flows remains of particular concern to Finland. How should we address the challenges of our security environment? Naturally, we should increase our efforts to make the international security arrangements work better. It is clear that the developments in the security situation underline NATO's role in providing security in Europe and emphasize the importance of the transatlantic link. For Finland, the deepening partnership with NATO is more important than ever. We continue to be an active partner and participate extensively in NATO exercises and training activities. The United States is a close partner for Finland and the continuation of our good relations is vital. I am personally very pleased that we were able to sign a statement of intent on our bilateral defense cooperation in last October. The European Union is the central frame of reference for Finland's foreign and security policy and an important security community. Finland promotes the development of defense cooperation within the European Union so that the Union and its member states can improve their crisis resilience. Countering hybrid threats is becoming more and more important. Finland, together with our partners, is setting up a European Center of Excellence for countering hybrid threats. The purpose of the center will be to develop means for resilience and strategic analysis. The center is also an opportunity and a tool to enhance EU-NATO cooperation. Nordic defense cooperation is an important pillar of Finland's multinational defense cooperation. In this year, Finland holds the presidency of Nordefco and aims to intensify efforts to promote regional security. By acting united, the Nordic countries can strengthen security in our region and increase our influence in international questions. We are presently facing challenges within multinational defense cooperation that were not in the spotlight for the last 30 years. For example, we need to think whether our military logistics and security of supply systems in Northern Europe are in a proper shape to tackle the present challenges. 
more cooperation is needed also in this field. Bilateral cooperation is one important tool in responding to present security challenges. Cooperation with Sweden is active. Together we aim at strengthening the security of the Baltic Sea region as well as the defense capabilities of Finland and Sweden. Our joint action also raises the threshold for incidents and attacks. <coughs> Bilateral cooperation between Finland and Norway has been, and I am certain that it will continue, very active and fruitful. We have found especially good cooperation areas related to the capabilities and logistics, and the ongoing joint work will benefit us and promote cost efficiency and security of supply. From my point of view, bilateral and multilateral defence cooperation are important parts of maintaining, developing and using Finland's defence capability and deterrence. Ladies and gentlemen, cooperation and collective solutions are only a part of the answer to security challenges. We also need to step up our national efforts to defence. The primary task of the Finnish Defence Forces continues to be the defence of own territory. Finland's defence is based on general conscription and defence of the entire territory of the nation. Our defence solution has proved enduring. Finland will maintain a credible defence and Finland will defend her territory in all circumstances. I'm, I'm pushing very hard nationally at this mom moment to ensure the needed funding for the defence, both in the short and in the long term. In the short term, we need to improve our readiness and the capabilities of our army and navy. We will maintain army's capability to repel a large-scale attack. We also need to ensure the capabilities of our navy will be maintained and enhanced in the form of squadron of multipurpose vessels. In the long term, we need to ensure the replacement of our F-18 Hornet fighters. In addition, we continue to le develop legislation to meet changes in our security environment. A Finnish version of total defence concept has proven to work because of two reasons. First, we have maintained our military capabilities. The Finnish Defence Forces train annually more than 20,000 conscripts and over 18,000 reservists. In addition, through voluntary national defence, about 28,000 reservists receive training on the annual basis. I'm pleased to say that we have good spearhead capabilities and the pool of reserves enables us to mobilise more than 230,000 troops for our wartime forces. Among other things, we have the largest field artillery in Western Europe. Second, the core of our defence is complemented with the concept of a comprehensive security. The concept is based on tight cooperation between government agencies, the business community and other relevant organisations in normal times, as well as in crisis. The future of our defence is addressed in the defence review, which is to be published in very near future. The focus of the review will be in the development of the defence forces, both in the short term and in the long term. I am certain that maintaining national defence in good shape is the best guarantee for useful defence cooperation and collective solutions. I would like to assure you, assure you that Finland can and will do her part in contributing to the security of the Baltic Sea region. In coordination with other actors, Finland is and will be also in the future a provider of security, not just a consumer. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Nini Stör, for giving us the Finnish view and how you uh, look upon your own national defence and also um, cooperation in the Nordic uh, region.